Beloved Masters, it has been some time since we discussed the cities of light in the higher realms and the wondrous gift that has been made available to humanity. We have observed that many of you, as part of your earthly mission, are actively involved in anchoring the Creator Light, adamantine particles, within yourselves, into the crystalline grid of the Earth, and then radiating the remainder out into the world at large. However, even though discontent, fear and anger abound, the human majority is still not ready to accept the fact that great changes in every area of life on Earth are in the making and that time is of the essence. The masses are still in denial and resistant to change, and most are incapable of absorbing what they feel are far-fetched, radical teachings of the coming age of enlightenment. We have told you over and over again that you are the transducers, the receptacles, the human vessels into and through which the rarefied frequencies of the future must flow in order to be anchored on earth and made available to all earthly creations. That is why it is so important for you to balance and harmonize your personal frequency patterns and to return to center, in order to accommodate the greatest amount of the crystalline creator fire of life or love. If you will remember, some time ago, we explained how, as the earth was formed and made ready for human inhabitation, there were gigantic crystalline spires of living light implanted deep within the earth that also extended high into the skies above ground. These sentient spires, which surrounded the world, were the receivers and senders of the sacred geometric codes of light from the great central sun, and the energetic codes or frequencies of the earth were then radiated back into the higher realms so that the great beings of light could monitor the progress of earth and humanity. These magnificent pillars of light were also used to modify and refine the divine blueprint and the frequencies of light which were being sent forth onto the earth and throughout the grid system. When the earth fell into the density of the third or fourth dimensions, there was a dramatic increase of cataclysmic events whereby most of these great spires were broken, shattered and buried deep within the earth. Only a few of these magnificent sentinels remained, however, they are disguised by a cover of plant material or layers of soil and rock. Most all of the wondrous crystals that are returning to you during this miraculous age of transformation are fragments of those great spires. Is it any wonder that they have become so precious to you as they help you retrieve some of the wondrous memories of your ancient past and create visions of your home among the stars? Many of you have diligently anchored the Ascension Stones as we instructed you to do in conjunction with information about how to visit the City of Light nearest you, and how to tap into the vibrational frequencies of the fifth and sixth dimensions in order to begin the flow of adamantine particles into your etheric vessel in your fifth dimensional pyramid and down into your earthly physical vessel. We have explained how you may also tie the portion of the adamantine particles of light that you download and integrate to the world pyramid in the higher dimensions for the greatest good of all. You may also dedicate a portion to any other pyramids that you have created or helped to create. A full explanation and procedure of how to do this have been given in the past. It is time to give you a more detailed explanation regarding the ascension anchoring stones and why they are so important. The two clear crystal stones represent the crystalline fire light of the Creator, or the adamantine particles as we have named them for this coming era. Since it is not feasible to replace the great sentient crystal spires around the Earth, these stones will perform the same function as receivers and senders in conjunction with each of you as refined, conscious light receptacles. The two small amethyst stones will draw forth the violet flame of transformation from the seventh ray and will radiate it down into the many levels of the earth, thereby activating the great amethyst clusters, and the etherically encapsulated violet flame chambers that were strategically placed around the earth awaiting the appropriate time to burst into life and begin the uplifting, transformational process from within the earth's structure. This will also speed up the process of activating the crystalline grid system that surrounds the earth which, in turn, will further accelerate the ascension process for the earth and humanity. Envision, if you will, a focused shaft of light beaming down from the city of light in your area directly into your personal ascension stone, diamond pattern formation, and then down into the core of the earth. This will also accelerate the process of anchoring the crystalline grid in your personal surroundings. This, in turn, will eventually result in creating a sacred space of beauty and harmony where peace and serenity prevail. There will come a time after you have activated your own ascension column of light, via your personal pyramid in the fifth dimension, 
when the power of your magnetic resonance will draw forth and anchor an ascension column of light to the crystalline grid system through your buried ascension stone diamond pattern. In doing so, you will begin the process of radiating more and more of this transforming light down into the earth and out into your surrounding area. To refresh your memory and to remind you of the extreme importance of becoming a bearer of Creator Light, we will repeat a brief excerpt from a past message, the portals are now open, but you must rise up and enter, for this great gift of radiant light is only accessible to those who are firmly on the path of ascension and are capable of being baptized in the living light of new creation. The key to each higher dimensional inner sanctum is vibrational, each one more refined and exquisite than the last. If you have been reading our messages over the past years, and have made an effort to integrate even a small portion of our teachings, you are ready to be a part of this grand mission and to enter a city of light. If you still have doubts, go into your pyramid of light and lie on the crystal table therein. Ask your angelic friends to assist you in harmonizing your frequency patterns both within and without, and then while in a meditative state, with pure intention, envision the double helix spiral of light. See yourself being lifted up the spiral on the right and allow your higher self to orchestrate your journey into the light city. Do not place any conditions on your journey or expect a certain outcome. Allow spirit to be your guide and you will not be led astray. You will be infused with the appropriate amount of creator light, as much as you can integrate, process and project out into the world. No more, no less. Gradually you, the ascending star seed of new creation, will move further and further into the inner sanctum of light as you bring more and more of the rarefied fire light of the Creator, and the divine schematic of the future back to earth with you. Remember, beloveds, in many ways, you are planting the seeds of ascension for humanity and the earth. As has been said, as you are lifted up, so are the earth and all of its inhabitants. Dear ones, we are aware that these are times of great stress and momentous change. It is more important than ever that you do not let yourselves be dragged downwards onto the spiral of fear and negativity that is building within the collective consciousness of humanity. You must be diligent in your determination to stay centered and focused on your personal vision for the future. Do not allow others to deter you from your path out of a false sense of duty, and old ties that bind you to the illusion of the third or fourth dimensions. Promise yourself that from this moment onward you will only do that which excites you and brings a sense of satisfaction, for therein lies your mission and how you can best serve. As you bring more joy into your life, others will notice and begin to follow your example, and as you activate this inner power source more and more, it will trigger what is needed for others to open their heart center and begin the awakening process. You can be the catalyst that will help those within your sphere of influence to move more quickly through the process of healing emotional wounds, and through your words of wisdom, you can inspire them to turn inward and begin to listen to the nudgings of spirit. Be aware that there will be people who come into your life who may try to discourage you from your path as you move further along the spiral of ascension, and there may be some that you will leave behind as you delve deeper into the complexities of enlightenment. As you learn the lessons that are presented to you, and you are ready to advance toward the light, many of those around you will stay stuck in the illusion of the inharmonious lower dimensions. Do not judge. Bless them and allow them to follow their own path, but do not let them deter you from yours. Those like you are in the vanguard, the ones brave enough to step out and away from popular beliefs and the limited mass consciousness of the third and lower fourth dimensional environment. Allow those visions that sometimes fill your consciousness to come forth and allow yourself to speak the words of wisdom that often float through your mind. You are in the process of accessing more and more of your sacred mind your own cosmic library where a great wealth of information, knowledge, and ancient memories are stored. You must remember that for these many past ages, almost every soul born on the physical plane has been caught up in the mass consciousness belief system of the third or fourth dimensions. As a result, the core issues from the past and the imperfections within the ancestral DNA have caused many symptoms to manifest whenever anyone allowed themselves to feel unloved or unworthy or felt guilt, shame, or resentments in any form. During these momentous times of transformation, the light of eternal life will not be denied. It is delving into the deepest pockets of negativity within your multiple bodily systems. As these misqualified thought forms rise to the surface, they can create great discomfort in various ways, 
for they have been a part of your physical makeup for a very long time. They may not relinquish their hold easily, beloveds, but you must prevail. When the opposing forces of light and shadow meet, the light is always ultimately victorious. So do not become discouraged, for as you move deeper and deeper into your inner core, you are being given an opportunity to, once and for all, release to the light all frequencies of a discordant nature which do not serve your greatest good. The process of transformation is speeding up exponentially, however, it will become much easier for those of you who are actively taking part in your own ascension process. Remember, always ask for ease and grace. My faithful warriors, are you ready to step forward and accept the final phase of your earthly mission? For in these critical times you are needed as transducers and transmitters of this refined energy to help move humanity and the earth through this important time of transition. That is why I have called my legions together once more, and why I am making my presence known to those of you who have agreed to play an important role in the great drama that is now unfolding on earth. As you fill yourself to overflowing with the elixir of love or light from the Creator, your circle of influence will widen. First, you will be transformed, and gradually, those in your immediate environment then it will radiate out further and further into the world. As you allow your higher self to guide you and to become more fully integrated within, more and more inspired thought will come to you. There are many ways to allow spirit to manifest through you, just allow it to happen naturally, dear ones. Our mother or father God and the full company of the higher realms are here to support, encourage and love you unconditionally. I am Archangel Michael.